few videos. If you've not joined me before, my name is Rachel Holmes and I am the creator of Fitness Pilates, which is a more functional approach to the original Pilates technique. I hope you love it. If you have a look around here on my YouTube channel, there are so many different styles of Fitness Pilates that you can try. So if you are a beginner or maybe you're injured or you're just getting back into things or you've got a back problem or just some back pain and you want to start really gently, this, my friends, is the great workout for you. So we're gonna stay on the floor seated. Just move through this really nice and slowly. Do whatever you can. Repeat it twice through and you will see some great improvement in your back strength and flexibility. As you're moving through the exercises, just really feel. Are you feeling pain? And if you are, then stop and adjust or is it that some tight muscles are actually starting to come into play because it's all about balance it's working on the weaker areas so that the body becomes a little bit more symmetrical and functional and you feel stronger and it will improve your posture we are in this forward flex position so much during the day looking at phones computers driving these exercises are just brilliant for recalibrating the upper back the middle back and the lower back. Are you ready? Of course you are. We are going to start in an awful position. So just have wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And let's just hold that position. I know when you're doing this video, you'll be kind of looking to see what I'm doing. But once you've done it a couple of times, you'll flow into this. Take your time. Okay, breathe in. Ah, and start to move into a lovely stretch for the lower back. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner or if you are super fit and super strong. We all need to do some fitness Pilates in our lives to recalibrate, rebalance, rejuvenate, and just work on some of the weaker areas in the human kinetic chain. Good, just move through that. Pushing down, lifting the head and shoulders, and really exaggerate the position as we move into a lovely stretch. Good, we'll do one more. So we're extending the spine there, and then we're moving into a lovely flexion there. And really breathe in, feel the rib cage. And then come into the middle of those two positions and just almost push the hips to the side now, again. Notice, can you feel any tightness? Yes, I can feel tight. Yes, I can feel tight. As you're moving your hips there from side to side, and then kind of find the middle. So we're just starting off really gently, keeping the position of almost kind of a neutral spine. You can take your feet off. That gives you a little bit more of a balance challenge. But again, we're just building this just so slowly. There's no rush. And this is a lovely workout to do in the morning. It will help your mental cognition, it definitely will. One more. And let's start to now extend. I'll put the foot down and go into the opposite arm and opposite leg. Again, I'm moving through this without stopping. So if your head now is looking down, just listening to my instructions, try and simultaneously move that arm and the leg. As always, in these videos, we're just focusing on a few key fitness Pilates exercises that you can perfect and they can make a huge difference to your back. And we've all struggled with back pain at times. It's just the most miserable. And uh, daily fitness Pilates practices is really going to help combat that and almost put some money in the bank so that you don't get back pain in the future. Okay, we're gonna hold it. Now maintaining your lovely neutral position, tap down with one side. Now, it'd be lovely if you could really stretch out that arm and point the toe, but don't worry too much. We just want to get that movement and stabilize through the spine. Arm and leg back in, might get some clicks and some grinds. Transfer to the other side, opposite arm and opposite leg. Just tap down and then lift. You can do it. Oh, I'm feeling this. You'll have a completely different experience on one side and then the other. You just do. 
Now let's move into abduction. So left arm and leg. Now just, it's hard to gauge this because you can't see. Opposite arm and opposite leg. Abduct and then bring everything back in. Ooh, that's tough. Opposite arm, opposite leg. It's only a small abduction and you're trying to get those level, which is not easy because you can't see yourself in this position. Unless you've got mirrors on your ceiling. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Good arm and leg. Such. Oh, here's that song again. I'm always singing this song. I love it so much. It's just got such an Ibiza vibe. <laughs> there we go. Abduction. Okay, I'm going to move back through into cat stretch. You might feel some tightness there on the lower back. So we held that position for a, quite a lengthy period of time. Head and shoulders come up. Good. Okay, let's sit back. Give your wrists a bit of a, a stretch. Ooh. And your lower back. Again, kind of feel how's your lower back feeling and moving. Is it quite stiff, quite tight? Okay, let's get some rotation. Now, keep your heels back. Just lift. Um, you've not come in all the way up and halfway back. So your shoulders now are back from your wrist. Okay, let's take your left hand. I'm going to thread the needle, bring the elbow through. And I am so tight. This is something I need to do. You're trying to get your elbow back. Good, rotating through the thoracic. Your thoracic is the middle part of your spine. And now I'm going to come through to the center. Push forward and then push back. So we have a little rest. Only doing two reps on each side and going for quality. And again, if your back's sore, again, just take your time. Okay, finger to your temple. Elbow comes through. Good. And I notice personally, I can get so much further on this side. And I'm really coming out. Push the hips right back. Thoracic spine, lovely. Hand forward. Good. And then sit back and have a little stretch. Okay. Back of the shoulders. This is your posterior delts. I love this exercise. You'll have to kind of look to see me, but you're going to take your thumbs up. You'll keep your head down. Hope you can still hear me. Head will stay on the mat. And lift the hands. Whoa, this is tough. If you're feeling any tightness in your lower back, take your time. Good again. Posterior delts. One more. Lift. Place it down. And just stretch. Good work. Okay, let's come down into a prune position. Let's adjust my mic a little bit. Okay. So the key here is to strengthen the glutes. Yes, the big glute muscles. Build that booty. So that will support your lower back. So we're going very, very minimal here, very tiny. Just to get your brain to, to get into that pattern again of tensing the glute. Now, if you tense the quad, you want to feel that the glute muscle is tense and then let it go. So do it yourself. Hand on your bum. <laughs> Squeeze. Hold. And then let it go. You'd be surprised. You think you're really clenching your glutes and you're actually not. You've got to really think about it. And I know, again, that's my weaker side. I have to really think about getting the glute muscles to get involved in this and relax. Let's go to the other side. So again, squeeze. Again, so that muscle there becomes tight. Or oh, the three muscles there in the glute become tight. Let them go. Squeeze again. Because we're going to layer on some changes. And then let it go. Can you do one more? So again, switch on that muscle. So that would be a very low level. You might be good with that. Stay with it. If you want to layer on the change now, squeeze the glute, raise the leg, lower the leg, and let it go. So we squeeze, we lift, we lower, we let it go. And again, because I'm a fitness teacher, aerobics teacher, <laughs> I'm finding the beat. You don't have to. Squeeze, lift, give me a beat and I'll walk to it. Again, so we squeeze, we lift, we lower, we release down again. Squeeze, lift, lower, and let go. This is quite challenging, even though it's really minimal. So you'll see, if you look on YouTube and Instagram, there are some amazing Pilates bodies and Pilates instructors. 
and it's, it can be very intense, very advanced. This is really about stripping it back and just focusing on the basic mechanics of movement and getting those right first. Get your foundational moves right and as you get stronger, you can do more of the fancy stuff. So let's get the basics right first. Let's add on. Now squeeze the glutes together. Lift both legs. Now again, you're going to feel a little bit of a pull on the lower back. If that's enough, just go back to single legs. I'm only going to do two. Squeeze and lower. Okay, if I just move down. So this is a modified, these are all modified exercises of some of the originals. So you will keep your head down. Think about what I've just taught you. Squeeze that glute, lift the opposite arm and the opposite leg and the head and shoulders. So kind of three things together. Here we go. So we lift, we extend and lengthen. I'm keeping it really small and minimal. The other side, lift and then releasing down. You've got it. So we squeeze and lift, lower down, beautiful, and again we squeeze, bird and lift, that's good, <clears throat> squeeze and lift, head and shoulder just coming off the mat a small way, squeeze, and lower, so again, basic and minimalistic here, gorgeous, two more, go. And if you're doing this with me, I want to hear from you. Make sure you leave a comment. Okay, option would be to go with both legs and both arms. But again, that might be, it might be just at the moment where you are. Might not be too much. Don't strain. You can always do a little bit more tomorrow. Good, again, squeeze the glute. Feet up. Good, and release down. Well done, just have a rest. You need to come out of that and stretch. You know you can. Okay, going to, this is, I love this exercise, it's called the square. You'll keep your head down, your hand and your elbows are in line with your shoulders. Okay, connect, squeeze the glutes, kind of talking. This is hard for you to check if you're doing it correctly, but your hands and your elbows squeeze back. Such a relevant exercise right now, because again, if you're in that forward flex position all the time, for a lot of the time in 2018 and beyond, we are. So get the scapula squeeze together. There we go. Now let's go diagonal opposite. Opposite arm, I'm keeping my head down and release. Just gently again. Lift and down. Wonderful. Keep going. Squeeze and down. Beautiful. One more. Let's go. Now there is another option, you can keep going with this, but lift the head and shoulders at the same time. And then down. The other side, here we go. Good, bring the shoulder blades down. One more each side. Good, last one. Yeah. And release down. Good, I'm gonna have a rest. I want you to come with me. I'll just bring my mic in. Stretch the spine again, because we were quite in an extended position. Just oh, stretch the lower back. So tilt underneath and really do tilt. Keep breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. Beautiful, just a few exercises as we come out of this into a kneeling position. Um, Kneel however you feel comfortable. If you want to sit on your bottom, again, that's fine. Again, shoulders back and down. Bring your arms down. Let's bring your shoulders down. Try and retract. Shoulder blade retraction and down. So just bring the shoulder blades together, keeping your head forward. Wow, it's getting warm as I'm doing this. <laughs> Lovely. Squeeze back. Again. One more. Now both arms up, lift, and circle back and around. Ooh. Again, lift up, and circle back and around. That's nice. Some rotation there. Good. And I hope that has helped you with your lower back. Repeat it all over again. And of course, let me know in the comments if this was helpful. And if you are struggling with back pain or a problem, again, put it in the comments and 
maybe I can point some other videos out that you might want to do at home or help you with some of your questions. As always, subscribe to the channel and I will see you on some social media platform today. Come and say hi.